Hello and welcome back to our channel, especially the cricket enthusiasts. In today's video, we'll be diving deep into the wonderful world of test cricket, delving into the rich history of the game to showcase the top 10 test cricketers of all time. These iconic players have left an indelible mark on the sport, demonstrating their exceptional skills, sportsmanship and passion over the years. So without further ado, let's jump into our countdown. And remember, no active cricketer, like no current cricketer, is part of the list. Let's start on number 10. He holds the record for the highest individual score in a test innings after scoring 400 not out at Antigua during the fourth test against England in 2004. He is the only batsman in the history of international test cricket to have scored 400 plus runs in one inning. And so, starting off our list at number 10 is none other than Brian Lara, the left-handed batsman from the West Indies who holds numerous records. Known for his aggressive stroke play and remarkable ability to play spin bowling, the Prince of Port of Spain, or simply the Prince, has left spectators mesmerized with his elegant style and passion for the game. Lara played from 1990 to 2007 and also holds the record for the highest individual score in first-class cricket, with an incredible 501 runs in a single inning. His incredible stroke play and elegant technique earned him a permanent place in cricket folklore and in this list. With 13,174 runs, he holds the record of the highest aggregate by a South African player. Only three players have scored more runs in Test cricket than him and only one has scored more Test centuries than him. At number 9, we have the legendary South African all-rounder Jack Callis. Known for his versatility in both batting and bowling, his consistent performances over an extended period truly made him stand out. He played for South Africa from 1995 to 2013 and was a prolific all-rounder who took 292 test wickets and scored over 13,000 test runs during his career and more than 200 catches. Callis is the only player in history to have scored more than 10,000 runs and taken more than 250 wickets in both test and ODI cricket. Next up, this legend passed away in 2022 but has left an inspiring legacy behind. He will always be remembered as one of the greatest and best spin bowlers who has done so much for the Australian team and world cricket alike. Coming in at number 8 is my personal favourite bowler of all time, Shane Warne, an Australian leg spinner who revolutionised the art of spin bowling. Warne's unique ability to bamboozle batsmen with his deceptive deliveries and his incredible cricketing intelligence earned him more than 700 test wickets, the highest by any leg spinner in history. His remarkable 708 wickets, including the famous ball of the century, elevated him to the status of a cricketing legend. Number 7. As a player, he's the only cricketer in history to be involved in 100 test victories and was involved in the most ODI victories as a player with 262 wins. He played in over 160 test matches and 370 ODIs. A prolific batter, he is Australia's leading run scorer in Test cricket and ODI cricket. At number 7, we have the batting maestro Ricky Ponting, who captained the Australian cricket team for a significant part of his career. Known as Punter, Ponting was a remarkable run machine who scored over 13,000 runs. Ponting's incredible technique, aggressive stroke play, his famous pull shot, and exceptional leadership skills make him one of the most successful cricketers of all time. Next up, he got 414 wickets in tests and 502 in ODIs. He was the first bowler to take more than 400 wickets in both tests and ODIs, a monumental achievement that shows his longevity and durability as well as wicket-taking skills. Moving on to number 6, we have the Sultan of Swing, Wasim Akram from Pakistan, again my favourite fast bowler of all time. Regarded as the finest left-arm fast bowler in the history of the game, Akram's ability to move the ball both ways, even in the most docile pitches, was simply remarkable. Akram was a master of seam and swing bowling, known for his deadly yorkers and ability to swing the ball both ways. He took over 400 test wickets and played a vital role in Pakistan's success during the 90s. Next up, the highest run-getter in test match cricket, amassing 15,921 runs in tests and holds the record for most test centuries, 51, most test matches played, 200, also registered the most fours in the format, 2058, and is the fastest cricketer to reach 15,000 test runs. At the halfway point, we have the masterful Indian batsman, my favourite batsman of all time, Sachin Tendulkar. Known as the Little Master, his exquisite technique, immense dedication and incredible longevity 
make him an undisputed legend. He played for India from 1989 to 2013 and is the only player to score 100 international centuries. Tendulkar is regarded as one of the greatest batsmen of all time, possibly the greatest batsman of all time. He is also the first player by the way to score a double century in a one day international match. Next up, he won 27 of 50 matches as a test captain and lost only 8. He was also the scorer of the second fastest ever test century from just 56 balls against England in Antigua during the 1986 tour. He hit 84 sixes in test cricket. Coming in at number 4 is the one and only Sir Vivian Richards, known for his fearful batting style and impeccable hand-eye coordination. Richards was a game changer, demolishing bowlers with his powerful strokes. He was the backbone of the invincible West Indies team during the 1970s and 80s. His combination of fearless stroke play and superb timing make him an unforgettable cricketer of his era. As I said, he played for the West Indies from 1974 to 1991 and was one of the most destructive batsmen of all time. Richards was named Wisden Cricketer of the Year in 1977, and did you know he also became the first cricketer to score a century and take five wickets in the same ODI match in 1987. On number three, from my very humble point of view, as somebody who loves cricketing stats, I still can't believe his cricketing stats. So, he, for, according to me, without argument, he is the most accomplished batsman known to cricket since W. G. Grace, probably the greatest batsman of all time. Some would say. In his first class career he scored 61237 runs with an average of 50.65 and scored 197 centuries. He played in 61 test matches and at number 3 we have the legendary Sir Jack Hobbs from England. Hobbs holds the record for the highest number of career centuries 197 like I said and amassed like I said more than 61000 first class runs. His unrivaled technique and mastery of the art of batting makes him one of the greatest test cricketers of all time. Okay, next up, his cricketing successes have been claimed by many experts to make him not just the greatest cricketer of all time, but perhaps the greatest sports person in sporting history. His career test batting average of 99.94 is considered by some to be the greatest achievement by any sportsman in any major sport. At number 2, we have the incomparable Australian cricketer Sir Donald Bradman. John Bradman often regarded as the greatest batsman of all time Bradman's astonishing batting average of 99.94 remains unmatched to this day he was a true phenomenon who dominated the game during the 1930s and 40s he played from 1928 to 1948 and in case i didn't mention it had a test batting average of 99.94 the highest of any player in history bradman scored 29 test centuries and was known for his unique batting style he was also a brilliant captain who won 15 of the 24 tests he led time for our top spot considered by many to be the greatest all-rounder of all time he was a giant of cricket in a career spanning 20 years he hit 8032 runs including a then world record highest score of 365 not out and also took 235 wickets capturing the coveted number 1 spot on our list is the legendary sir garfield sobers gary sobers sobers was known for his uh, extraordinary batting skills exceptional fielding and his ability to contribute with the ball he was the epitome of cricketing excellence setting new benchmarks for future generations he was a true all-rounder excelling with both bat and ball Sobers' versatility and extraordinary skill encompassed over 8,000 runs and over 235 Test wickets. He played for the West Indies from 1954 to 1974. Sobers was the first player to hit six sixes in a single over and scored, as I said, more than 8,000 runs, more than 200 wickets in 93 Test matches. Also, a talented fielder who could take stunning catches. Okay, quickly before I end, I want to make four quick honorable mentions. First, Alan Border. He played for Australia from 1978. To 1994 was known for his aggressive batting style. Border was also the captain of the Australian team that won the 87 World Cup. Did you know that Border played an astonishing 153 consecutive tests without missing a single match? Quickly, second honourable mention: Sir Richard Hadley played for New Zealand from 1973 to 1990. First player to take 400 Test wickets. Apart from his remarkable bowling skills, he was a handy batsman who scored two Test centuries. Hadley was named New Zealand's player of the century in 1999. Number 3 quick mention Rahul Dravid also known as the Wall. He played for India from 1996 to 2012 was known for his solid defense skills. Dravid holds the record for the highest number of catches 
taken by a non wicket keeper in test cricket did you know that dravid also holds the record for the most number of balls faced in test cricket history last honorable mention the legendary imran khan played for pakistan from 1971 to 1992 also considered to be one of the finest all rounders of all time not only was he a captain of the pakistani team that won the 92 world cup but he also took 362 wickets in 88 test matches khan was also a philanthropist who founded the shaukat khanu memorial cancer hospital in pakistan that concludes our list of the top 10 test cricketers of all time but remember cricket is a game of opinion just like most things in the world so let me know your thoughts and suggestions in the comments below while i am saying this i'm thinking of so many legendary cricketers that could not be a part of the list whether it's malcolm marshall or whether it's uh, andy roberts michael holding so many great uh, west indian cricketers there is of course ian botham there is kapil dev there is uh jeff thompson there is dennis lilly there is uh, wakar yunis there is uh, uh, there are so many so many there is the there's the bedi prasanna venkat raghavan there is sunil gavaskar oh my god please take care next time keep enjoying the game cheering for your favorite cricketers please comment in the section below comment section your favorite cricketers please subscribe please do the nice thing please spread the good word keep watching cricket enjoy bye bye